All right, guys, welcome back to episode four of the minus six challenge where I try and shoot minus six through 12 holes at my home course. So first off, obviously, we got the long par three here, and I actually almost hit the green this time, which would have been nice. Just right of it left us with this chip, and I was pretty happy with this chip because like my backswing was kind of against that tree. So to get up and down for par, that's a great start. Hole number two, we have pin up at the very top ledge. So this green is two tiers, and I, I flared it right, but that's actually a good miss based on where this pin is. As you guys can see, sitting on top of this ridge, you know, being on the other side of this is horrible up and down, whereas this I have a lot of room to work with. And actually, again, another really good pitch shot. Left us with a short putt to get up and down for par. We're moving on, even through two, baby. Hole number three. Now, this was just a leaky swing. Just work. I got to work on my transition, something my coach and I have since worked on. But in this round, you know, my big miss is this leaky right thing. And so as a result, I'm now stuck basically beside this fence and a tree. And so I'm trying to figure out if I can fit my club and get a bit of a backswing here because I basically am just trying to get up and down for bogey. And I clip it perfect and watch my reaction. What an up and down. That is all time, probably one of my best up and downs ever. I couldn't believe it. Tap in par. I thought I was walking away with the bogey for sure. So anyway, we're even through three. Moving on to hole number four. Smash hybrid right down the middle. Thank you very much. This is why I switched to the G425 back because just that hybrid is just so good for me. And that left us with this approach. And honestly, I should have clubbed up. I... Hit pitching wedge here. I had 145 to the pin, and I should have hit 9-iron just with the wind and the coldness. Left it a little bit short, but pitching has been really good today. So we're going to rely on that, and that is going to get us up and down yet again. So even through four holes, can't complain. Just nice little easy pars. No damage is done. But with that being said, we're going to just hit this tee shot on hole number five straight to right field out of bounds. Uh, that wasn't great. Thankfully, it's red stake, so I can drop here. And it just clipped the tree on the way out, one branch, and it slowed it down a bit, which left us with this and just didn't give it enough to give it at least a chance to make a par. So we have our first element of damage. We are one over now, heading to hole number six, which is the par five. And this is what I was hoping to take advantage of with the new hybrid in play and sling it. And I didn't. But we got a wicked tree bounce, which left us with this. And I was just wanted to hit a little punch gap wedge. And I kind of played it a little too close to those trees. Um, but that's fine. This left us with 165 to the pin. Uh, the pin was actually not put back by the previous group. So I was basically playing to the middle of the green and hit an absolute perfect shot, which really took my time over this putt because obviously... If I can get a stroke back here, that can kind of change the vibe and the momentum of the round. So really just taking my time, making sure I, you know, assess my read. The greens were a little funky today just with the weather and just rolled a nice one center cup. So now we are back to even. Damage has been averted. And we're here on the short seventh hole. Um, I left the zoom lens on. So you guys are just going to get to see the zoomed part of this. And this just hit. I actually hit it great. It just spun like crazy right off. There's a slope right there. Um, that's a tough pin to kind of get it to hold to. And so hit this putt through the fringe and everything. And just a little bit left. All good. Clean it up for par. Moving on. We are even through seven. Hole number eight. Another short little par three here. Wedge game's been good. Honestly, I'm, I've been pretty happy through this series that I've given myself a shot every time at these par threes, especially the short ones. And I uh, can't tell you how many times I've had a big struggle on these because I didn't have the finesse. But I didn't have the finesse in that putt either. And so now we're in for par, even through eight. Hole number nine, the short par four. We roast four iron. Little leaky, but not enough to be dangerous. This puts us on the right edge of the green, which we can definitely get up and down from there. The pitching today, again, just unreal. Taking the lob wedge here and just flipping it up there. I would have ideally loved to have been a little more right, but actually this gives it a pretty good putt. That hole is, is essentially on a crazy slope. And so getting up and down there for birdie, that puts us at one under through nine. Hole number 10, we're going up and above these trees. 
Now, the wind caught it a bit, and I think it clipped a branch on the way down, so we weren't as deep as we would have liked, which had us here, and I just yanked this left. Um, but because of where the hole's position and the slopes and everything, I actually got away with it, and not too bad, which left us with this putt, and the putter's been, been great. Like, you know, what's nice about having a consistent putter is that when you put yourself in a position, you can capitalize. So we're two under, and now we're heading into the 11th hole, and driver is just wonderful here. I was hoping to not roof it right into the range, so they hit one down the middle, which is great. Nice little recovery from um, hole number five. This actually was so bad it was good. Wanted to bring this in low, brought it in a little too low, but it hit the grass, hit a bunch of things, and ended up with this for birdie, and I thought I can this, and it just lipped. You know those little plastic rings they put on the cups sometimes to hold their shape? In the winter, I get a lot of lip outs because of those. So that leaves us with this layup going into hole number 12, trying to see if we can make a little bit of magic happen. The wind was not happening today to kind of go for it. So hit sandwich here, had 114 to the pin and just didn't give it enough sauce. And then it spun back quite a bit because of the slope there. So tried to give this just a little bit of extra sauce to see if we can get there. And the greens were rolling on this one. This is probably the best green on the course always. It gets a ton of sun, which left us with a little bit more of an uncomfortable par putt than I would have liked. But we nailed that. So that puts us at two under through 12. And yeah, as you guys can see, you know, even on the first one, minus two on the second episode, minus four on the third episode, minus two again on the fourth episode. Overall, feeling pretty good. This consistency, I, I can't hate on. Obviously, you know, there's some things to clean up and definitely things I need to address. But with the mistakes I'm making, I've been able to still score and still get out of the issues. And I think that's a big step forward. Normally, those issues would definitely compound and I wouldn't have nearly this consistent of scoring. So I don't think six under is far away, but uh, I'm just looking forward to continuing to work hard and getting to that point where I can make it happen. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.